Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Uh, I would like to continue solving problems um, about pyramids. Well, today's problem would be mm, of a slightly different character. It's basically lots of calculations. And, uh, well, you know, sometimes it's boring. <laughs> it's definitely boring for me, to tell you the truth. But, you know what, it's necessary. Sometimes you have to do the boring task just to, to achieve some results. Um, sometimes you have certain uh, like spark of creativity where you can significantly reduce your calculations based on some little trick and that was basically the subject of the previous lecture. One little trick allows us to reduce the uh, calculations uh, quite significantly. In this case I, I just don't know that, that trick or whatever so I'll just do it straightforward way and uh, well my only concern is not to make mistakes <laughs> all right so let's do it so what's the problem um, the problem is as follows you have a triangular pyramid with equal side edges and equal angles of the faces at the top all right angles S A B C. So S A equals S B equals S C. Angle A S B equals angle B S C equals angle C S A equals 90 degrees. What else is known? Known altitude. Altitude A H sorry S H equals H. That's the only thing which is known as far as lengths are concerned. So again, all side edges are equal, all angles at the top for all faces, side faces are equal to 90 degrees and what we have to define uh, everything basically we have to determine everything about this pyramid which means every edge uh, every area and volume so all edges all uh, areas of all faces and the volume or everything in terms of H well, that's why I'm saying it's kind of lots of calculations. All right, so what can we do about it? Well, let's just think about First of all, all these triangles, ASB, BSC, and CSA, are right triangles with um, uh, side edges being catheter of these right triangles. And they are the same, since all catheters are the same, all side edges are the same. So at the base, ABC, we have a, an a equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Okay. I think what would be easier if we can start with uh, just assigning some kind of a A for the side edge, and we will try to express H, the altitude, in terms of A. And that would be kind of an equation from which we will define A in terms of H. I think it's a, a little easier. At least it was easier for me. Probably it can be done differently anyway, but here is my, here is my approach. Now, if this is A, and this is A, and this is A, this is obviously A square root of 2 according to the Pythagorean pyramid, right? A as B is the right triangle, A and A are catheter angle at the top is right angle so this is a square plus a square equals to this square which means it's a square root of 2 that's fine 
Now what I will do is, if I have an equilateral triangle with a known side, well, I assume it's a known side, equals to a square root of 2. Obviously, I can find out the AH. And then, from the SAH right triangle, knowing hypotenuse and the catheter's AH, I will determine what my altitude is, and I will uh, equate it to H, and that will be my equation. So, all I have to do right now is, let's consider the equilateral triangle, ABC. Now, obviously, the point of intersection uh, of all the medians and altitudes and bisectors, which is the center of this triangle, is exactly the point where altitude going into. Why? Well, first of all, you can do it very, very easy. For instance, um, it's very easy to, to prove that AH is equal to HC and equal to HB because all these triangles are right triangles with equal hypotenuse and shared catheters, right? So other catheters are supposed to be equal. So SAH, SBH, and SCH are all right triangles. They share one catheter, catheters, and their hypotenuses are the same. So they're all the same, which means H is the center of the circumference around AB, A, A, B, C. And since it's um, equilateral triangle, then this point is everything. It's center of everything, including uh, inscribed, circumscribed uh, uh, circle. Medians are intersecting in this point. Altitude, etc., etc. So, okay. So let's just determine this is H. So let's determine AH. That would be our key uh, segment. Well, again, that's very easy. Now, the whole thing is, as we know, A square root of 2. So half of it, let's call it C prime. So it would be a square root of 2 over 2, and this is a square root of 2 over 2, right? These are halves. Now, what else I know? Well, I know that if this is x, this is x divided by 2, right? Because this is such a degree angle, remember? We're talking about equilateral triangle. So in the equilateral triangle with an angle angle of 30 degrees, the uh, hypotenuse is twice as big as opposite catheters. And they all supposed to satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, which means x squared is equal to x over 2 squared plus uh, a squared divided by 2, right? So that's an equation for x. So let me just, just de define what the x is. x squared divided by 4 plus a squared divided by 2. x goes here, so it's 3 quarters of x squared is equal to a squared over 2. Now this is 2, this is 1. I reduce by 1, by 2, so, sorry. So 3 halves x squared is equal to a squared. x is equal to a squared to square root of 2 thirds, right? That's my x. Now, this x is actually sh, uh, ah, which is this. So I know this catheter in terms of A and this catheter in terms of A. And now I can use the Pythagorean theorem to uh, uh, assign it to H. So A square is equal to H square plus this square. Uh, 2 A square divided by 3. Am I right? So 3 A square.
3a squared equals 3h squared plus 2a squared. So I reduce by 2a squared on both sides. I have 1. So h is equal to um, a divided by square root of 3. Am I right? Well, actually, I'm sorry, I have to define a. So a is equal to h square root of 3, right? I don't need to define h in terms of a. I have to define a in terms of h. Okay, so we got this. So all the side edges, side edges, equals to h square root of 3. Done that. Next. Next is the base edges. This triangle. Now, we know that this triangle has the side equal to a square root of 2. So the base edge equals to, this is a and times square root of 2. So it would be h square root of 6. All right. Now the uh, the areas. Okay. Area of the side face is easy because it's a times a divided by two. It's a, a right triangle, right? So it's um, okay. Area side face equals. So it's uh, this square divided by 2, which is h square, 3h square divided by 2, right? So it's h square root of 3 divided by 2 square is equal to uh, 3, 2h square. Am I right? Yes. <coughs> now, this um, area, area of the base, area of the base, it's just slightly more complicated, but anyway, it's not very, very difficult at all. Um, so, what do we know about this? We know all the sides, which is a square root of 2, which is base h. So let me just redraw it, and I put something which we already know. abc equilateral triangle, and every one of them is square root of 6. Okay, now what's its area? All right, do the same thing. What's the altitude? Let's call it y. We know that this is equal to this piece, h, ac, AC sharp, a, a, ac um, uh, prime is half of the a a a c right because this is 30 degree angle so we have this one equal to h square root of uh, 6 divided by 2 and now y square is equal to Pythagorean theorem 6 h square minus square this which is 6h squared divided by 4, which is equal to, uh, what is this, 18, well, let's just do it 3 seconds, that would be easier, 
So 2y squared is equal to 12h squared minus 3h squared. y squared is equal to 9h squared over 2. So y is equal to 3h, sorry, 3h divided by square root of 2. 3h divided by square root of 2. <coughs> now I have to multiply the base, which is h square root of 6 times 3h divided by square root of 2 and divided by 2. Right? So what do we have here? 6 is 2 times 3, square root of 2 would be reduced, so it's 3 square root of 3h square over 2. Am I right? Let me check. 3h square... Yeah, that's exactly what I have received. So this is my uh, area of the base. Three square root of three h square over two. Okay, so we have three. Uh, no, four. We have four uh, faces uh, area we have determined. All there is now left is volume. Well, volume is easy because right now we know the area of the base and we know the altitude. So we multiply area of the base, which is 3 square root of 3h square over 2, multiplied by altitude and divide by 3. So that would be h cubed square root of 3 divided by 2. That's my volume. Well, that's it. Lots of calculations, and I admit it's a little maybe tedious, boring, whatever other words you can come up with. But let me repeat it again. Sometimes you've got to do it. And if you've got to do it, you've got to do it. That's it. So uh, I do suggest you to repeat all these calculations yourself. Um, no matter how you might dislike it, I, uh, let me tell you personally, I don't like these calculations. However, again, you must do it. Um, so, suggest you to do it again, just by yourself, and that would be it for today. Thank you very much, and good luck.